Welcome to another segment of Sweet Stuff. Last time we were in Boston at Yankee Dental at the Expos to look at different companies and their products. Today, I have a particular product in hand and it is extremely exciting. This category has been catching fire recently and I was there personally at the AA meeting in San Francisco to witness this. And this category is the endodontics motor with the apex locator. That's right, I have a device right here where you can clean and shape your root canals while determining your working length. Now the issue though with these big companies is that they're selling them for over $3,000. But the one I have here is from a lesser known company, but they're only selling it for $500. And I actually buy it from Amazon. I'll link in the description below. Now a little bit historical question. I know most of you are wondering, does this really work? The answer is a big fat yes. The reason why it works is this is a pretty old technology actually. I did a lot of PubMed searches. I did FDA 501k certification searches. And it looks like there's devices like this starting in 2002. So there's a lot of times for companies to develop this perfective, whether it's a big company or a small company. This particular one is made by Coxville. They've made Apex locators and Docs motors and they also had a lot of experience combining the two as well. So all these papers starting in 2002 prove once and every time and again that the process of clean and shaping while determining the working length is consistent and accurate compared to just using a stainless steel file with your traditional apex locator. So let's take a look. I'm very excited. This is my first time unboxing so we can do this together. All right, so I'm actually gonna put this lid down here. It looks like the first thing that you come into are a set of instructions. All right, that's kind of like a quick starter instructions. It talks about the display, the functionalities. It looks like there's four modes, and we'll talk more about that later. So that's that. We have uh, instruction manual. Uh, and it kind of has a description of all these things and I'll show you those things right there. That's great. And one of the things that both of those show is kind of the rotating speed uh, from 125 RPMs up to 625. I think that's a pretty good range. One of the first integrated devices can only go up to about 300. And so going up to 625 is actually pretty good. All right, so more instructions here. Let's get to the good stuff. So it looks like this is the handpiece from what the manual is saying. It's the motor handpiece. It looks like this. It's this side right here. A little protection. Nice. Here's the main device. like the connectors plus the holder. And there's two other boxes. Let's put this again to the side. Charger, we got the stuff for the apex locator. And we have the foot pedal and the contra angle right here. All right, so give me a moment to set this up and we'll see it in action briefly. All right guys, I just had it set up and I'll kind of walk through what I did to set up. The first thing I did was I put the foot pedal to the side. I don't use that. I prefer the finger button to activate the motor. So with this device, 
Uh, the first thing I did was to turn it on, but it actually did not turn on. I tried charging it and it didn't charge, but it turns out the first thing one has to do is to open this and connect the battery. I think during the shipping, they didn't want to lose charge uh, and preserve battery life, so they unhooked it. So make sure if you get one of these, first thing to connect the battery. The second thing was, uh, I noticed uh, when I turned on, was that there are four modes and we'll go through each one successfully uh, on a setup and what each one does. So the first mode here is mode one. You can see, I don't know if you can see that mode here or maybe you can see mode one here. But anyways, with mode one, that's purely apex locator. So you connect this to this side right here and now you have a epic locator like you usually do so if I connect these two you should hear a beep indicating that a circuit has completed uh, and you're at more than past apex so you should hear a beep so it works works like a normal apex locator so with mode number two you can put this away now it is just like your rotary hand piece normally. So you just connect it here in the circle, connect it there, and you just place it in. And it snaps right in there. So this is for mode number two. For mode number two, now I place a file here for demonstration. The only thing I wish it has was a button instead of this locking pin uh, right there. I prefer a button, so it kind of takes a little bit of handling to get the file in there sometimes. So again, I prefer the button and it just works like uh, a normal rotary motor. It has nine programmable uh, options, uh, memory, uh, so you can kind of specify your RPMs and torque limit if you like, uh, depending on which file system that you use. Uh, and this one just goes around in repetition. So it works kind of like that. So let's move on to mode three. Mode three is also like your endodynamics motor, but this difference is that it reciprocates. It does two full turns and it goes back one uh, the other way in that cycle. So let's turn it on. So it kind of it's, it's doing that reciprocation movement. So the last mode is the mode that we're waiting for, mode number four, and that's for the dual function. So in order to make this work, and the great thing about the update version is that you just need this connector and that's it. So all you have to do is connect this into the handpiece. And once you're done, that's all you have to do. You just have to transfer one of these hooks back in and there you have it. So you put this on the patient's uh, mouth and you go in the motor will automatically recognize that you're in the tooth, start spinning, and then it'll slowly move, rotate slower once it gets closer to the apex until when it finally stops and uh, moves in the opposite direction at its apex. So there you had it. I went through the four function. My initial impressions are impressive. Uh, I like the build quality. It's lighter than you think. Uh, the handpiece is comfortable. I think it's a perfect weight. Uh, the only thing that I wish was different was a button instead of a locking pin to attach the files. Otherwise, uh, everything seems to work great. I'm really excited about this device. I want to give it a try and when I do, I'll make a second video on how it works clinically.